Today is October the 11th, 2023. It's 10.14 in the nighttime. I'm making this video right now. Um, this is not a vlog. Not this time. Um, I really don't... I really want to sleep right now, but um, I have to wake up early and take my daughter to school. But I want to make this video because um, I just... Uh, I just saw this information that I wasn't aware of and it really um makes me very I mean everything's kind of shitty right now already in my personal life and this just kind of like makes it even worse like breaks it breaks me a bit cuz it's I've had this you know this image of women uniting against this insanity, this trans agenda that's being perpetuated everywhere in the world right now, um, legally speaking anyways, and, um, and two of the, I would say, well, not the, like, most top ones, I, I, I would reserve those for people like um, well, maybe ex Lanzik is, because I know she does a lot of live events, but, uh, I, I really don't know how many Karen has been to, but, uh, I know Kelly J does a lot, and, um, goes to a lot of live events, and speaks out and stuff like that, and, and Brittany, and, uh, you know, uh, uh Ella, I know she does too. Um, and there's others, you know, there's, there's others as well, and it's, I, I, I came across, I'm not going to get into all the, the drama of everything, because that's really irrelevant to me, um, but I came across a drama that was happening between ex and, uh, and Karen, Karen Davis, uh, from, uh, I heard her old channel got deleted, but, um, I forgot what it was called. It wasn't named after her, it was something else. They, they deleted it a long time ago, but, um, anyways, they're very, you know, both very vocal and active as far as posting videos uh, uh, regarding the trans narrative and what's going on in that realm and they they've had you know a podcast they've done together I know and they apparently they've talked personally but uh you know it's it's hard to say in that situation like when you're meeting with activists or people coming together for a certain a certain purpose, you know, one that that really means a lot to them. Um, it's hard to tell, you know, who who you're gonna be friends with and who's gonna be, you know, just an acquaintance. And you know, you don't you don't really you can't really tell. And and some people, you know, tend to see friendship where there is none um and that's fine you know at the end of the day to me personally that's not important i'm not trying to make friends you know with anybody at this point i i just want this to be talked about more and for people to stand up women especially to stand up against this and um to see that they're bickering basically like a couple of high schoolers over a misunderstanding if i'm if i'm understanding it properly it's that's what it seems to be it's just a misunderstanding between the two that just escalated into a sort of resentful feeling of one another um it's sad cuz i i'm you know there's a an opportunity for growth to to manifest there and it's just gone now, you know, because of that. 
<clears throat> misunderstanding and <sighs> and you know it's it's more upsetting to me when I think about it because of stuff I've I've heard people say about us women and our feelings and how we are and how we can't even get along with each other you know enough to to agree on something together so you know how are we going to ever be able to control the anything in the world or be in charge of anything if we can't even get along with each other and start bickering you know and throwing shade at each other it's it's disappointing, you know, and I'm I'm not a I'm not a perfect person myself and I'm not gonna sit here and claim to be, you know, I, I have my I've spent all fucking day arguing with some with some men on Twitter or X whatever it's called now to to put them in their place about their sex, you know, and, and what they actually are. And I got pretty petty. You know, I, I got pretty petty because it upsets me that they continue to try and hijack our identities and deny that they're doing so in the process and actually attempt to throw it back at us and make it feel, make try to make us feel like we are, you know, being discriminatory, discriminating against them or being hateful against them or to them when in reality it's like... <laughs> I really don't care, like, honestly, I really don't care, like, if you, I mean, I'll feel sorry for you, or whatever, I'll feel pity for you, but if you want to go and cut your dick off, if you want to go and, you know, take hormones, or you want to, whatever it is that you want to do to yourself, like, that ultimately is your choice at the end of the day, and that's why I never raised my personal opinion about the whole trans uh, narrative in, in the beginning, because, at the end of the day, that's what I thought about it. It's not my business. But they don't understand that it's not just about that anymore. You know, it's getting to be infiltrated into kids, the the realm of kids and, you know, vulnerable kids that are just gender nonconforming that don't want to be a part of whatever stereotypes that their gender is placing on them or people that are in their lives are placing on them because of their gender and they're being manipulated into thinking that they are actually the opposite gender because of that you know and i personally feel a strong inclination against that because i myself was gender non-conforming you know i i used to wish i was a man or a boy just because of the fact that it you know, in my Mexican family and culture, the men had it easier. You know, they didn't have to clean. They didn't have to cook. They didn't have to really, you know, deal with the shitty shit that we had to deal with as women, as girls. Um, You know, they got to be vulgar and whatnot. And it's like, oh, you're a lady. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. Like, I, I'm... I'm... I'm just very concerned about kids like that, you know, and and them being pushed into that kind of stuff. And also, you know, I don't like being erased as as a woman, you know. I don't want men to be coming into our spaces. I don't want my daughter to be missing out on scholarship opportunities because a man or a boy, a boy that wants to be a girl is, you know, unfairly beating her in every category of whatever she's, you know, trying to a accomplish. I just, I don't, I don't want that, you know, and it's happening right now. It's been happening. And we need to step up and say stuff about it. And a lot of women are, and women need to unite together against that. And just this, it's just, it's so stupid, like, it, it, it's stupid at the end of the day, and, and I know it's hard, you know, dealing with, with that kind of stuff on a daily basis, like, you start to, your personality, like, 
hardens and you start to become someone else, you know, than what you what you want to be or what you intended to be, you know, when you first started. Um, and I know that personally through acti- doing activism through for other things that I did activism for in the past. So, so I understand, you know, that there's going to be un- misunderstandings and disagreements and confrontations regarding certain other things that come up. But, um, I just wish we could all grow up and move past that to really, like, accomplish something here and get something done. Because if we just start fighting and bickering and, you know, talking down on the only, you know, people, the only personalities out there that are actually speaking out and saying stuff about these things, and we're just, we're fighting against ourselves at that point already and it's it's like you know if you don't want to be involved with somebody anymore that's you once were involved with you know if you had a, a relationship at one point where you were moving together on a certain on a certain goal and it was going well at at one point and now it isn't that's fine you know but just let it let it be what it is like don't try and put it out there to like you know for whatever reason it's like it's it's just undermining everything that's being done that's been done you know it's giving them a reason to to say yeah they're right you know women aren't gonna be able to get along and stop this madness insanity which is what it is at the end of the day it's just a bunch of fucking insanity and um yeah I just I just hope that 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 doesn't happen anymore like with any other personalities out there I know like right now there's also kind of a thing going on with with Isaac Uncooked and and the the top like trans like uh trans trans embodying people I should say because I don't I'm not gonna say trans people because I I don't believe in in trans like the idea of being trans I I think it's a facade I think it's a lie that was brought on to us I believe people are gender nonconforming and I believe that you know, men and women can exchange their, or can change their outside perspectives to look, their outside, um, perceptions to look however they want to people, um, I, I just don't think that makes them a man or a woman necessarily, I just, I think that, um, you know, they could be respected, as as whatever they feel they are as long as they're not trying to indoctrinate people but i i guess i understand isaac when he's saying that that's what they're doing you know in effect by still saying that they are trans and you know that they're happy and whatnot as as being trans um but that's a whole different argument and and that is something that's is unfortunate as well because like Blair Blair White Buck Angel and Marcus um the offensive tranny they're all they're all very strong voices in this whole bo- movement that's speaking out against the the trans propaganda and um you know they have a lot of a lot of um A lot to be proud of for what what they've the for the for bringing this to light essentially because that's what they've done regardless of wh- whether or not their perspectives are something that you agree with fully or not which I don't um, they're bringing it to light and that is at the end of the day what matters that is what counts to me you know um, 
everything else is, you know, th just things that can be worked out, hashed out, you know, I think, personally. You know, there's nothing that a good conversation can't accomplish if you're able to stay, you know, focused on your thoughts and what you're trying to relay to that person. Which I'm, again, I'm not perfect at, which is honestly why I stay out of a lot of this conversation, you know, because I know I'm not, I'm not perfect in that, in that way yet. I'm, I'm very far from perfect in that, you know, but I understand that that's what I want to strive for and that's what I want to be, you know. So, um, yeah, with that, I'm gonna go to bed and just try and have a nice night's rest because I'm really tired and this just really depressed me more than I already.